anniversary. Ta da! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Time to dig into the memories. I don't like to do it, but actually, it's kind of pretty useful. If you understand the past, then you know what to do now and which will affect you in the future. Are you ready for the revint? Let's go! Last year, March 24, that was the last time when these doors were completely open. The rest of the year it was partially open or closed, but that was the last time when these doors was open. And that was the last day when we still had the customers. That was the last customers. There was one guy who wanted to do Discover Scuba Diving and we did it. And after that, in the evening, everything became closed because there was a yepi. We loaded up the car, we put all the things in and we went out to for one dive to pyramids and when we did it we didn't really understand in how deep shit we're gonna be the next year we just close it for maybe a month because um, the local government said okay so now we're closing for the yepi and then they extended for another day so there was actually first in the future that was two day yepi or two days of the silent day never happened before but that's what happened. So we were simply sitting at home, enjoying the time with no stress at all, because we didn't know what will, what is waiting us in the future. We still don't know what is waiting us in the future. I know a lot of people enjoying this year because they've been evolving, they've been doing some online courses, they've been discovering new grains of their personalities. And so, and I'm kind of me as well, but you know, it's like the one thing is when you have some backup and you're feeling comfortable or another thing is that you have nothing left in your pocket and you got this year. And the reason why there was nothing left in our pockets was really simple and I've been talking about that previously. We really wanted to get out on a zeros. I really tried to pay everything to get out on the zeros and there was a really big hope that by the end of April or beginning of the May we will be on the zeros. That was a mistake. Always leave something for the backup. That was the dive site where we did this last dive, March 24. On the other hand, I would never start a vlog and now you would not see this episode. I would be just really comfortable. If I have some backup, I would just travel a little bit around as it, as it is possible around Indonesia. I would go to Komodo, Rajampat, maybe another interesting places. If someone would say me a year ago that we're gonna be close for a year, Probably I would st I would probably start panicking. The thing what all of us saved was the thing that we didn't know what's going to happen next. In the first of May, we understood that nothing gonna be open, and then they said, "Okay, we going to stop lockdown um, in the beginning of the June, first of June." We are located at less touristic place, and that's why the the lockdown never been really strict here. We still were able to swim. It was absolute absurd that they said you can swim, but you cannot snorkel and you cannot diving. And I didn't really get this one. Ways ways the logic of this, but you have to understand that in these times there is no logic at all. And that's why what we did, we went out for swimming every single day since the beginning of the quarantine. And uh, and enjoy the beach and life and actually that helped a lot because if I would stay in a room for so long time I'm a kind of active person I need to move all the time I would just shoot myself just because it, it would be too tough for me we didn't stop the contract 
of the dive center just because simply we were um, we still believe that everything will be over because there is no any other examples in the history that there is so long lockdown but in my life or even my parents life no examples the only thing what was left was only the hope that everything will be over in one or two months and we can start living normal life again incredible place right just look at it and that I never been here before but uh, just look at the road which goes down there by the middle of the April I started hiking and it was like a kind of okay we cannot go diving and snorkeling but we can go to the mountains in April I started hiking maybe like twice a week then I increased it then I started hiking every single day I think the idea about the new hike just born when you think nothing can surprise in the mountains, there's another place which takes your breath away. What do you think? Agree? I'm so high, so high, I'm, I'm lying actually. In May there was a restore coming from Ubud and we did a couple of dives before he left. Um, I think we did some dives in May. Chandidasa was open, so no one really said anything if we did dives in Chandidasa. Lipa Beach was open, and uh, we did a couple of places and other places. The rest was prohibited. And uh, but yeah, that was a kind of kind of uh, help and kind of uh, solution for our finances. Uh, because at least we we were able to do something and that was really good since since first of june the quarantine was over so then we tried to open and then we created this short video But yeah, we, we kind of, we opened at the shop, but the mostly the front door was closed and we were just sitting in, in the office and working because it was already too hard to work at home and we needed to move out a little bit. So that was only, we used it only as a office or we just opened at one front door and that's it. Um, our staff came in the mornings and we worked like month, from Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sundays was closed. By the end of the June, we understood that nothing will happen. So we just simply put on a pause. We started working only on a request. If someone requested for some diving or some courses, then we did it. But to be honest, not so many people were actually wanted to do diving or since places where we can do diving was really limited. So then uh, it was like, okay, just to stay alive nothing else july was pretty much the same in uh, in the beginning of august i started my blog with the episode lost in uh, ahmed in that point we actually understood that nothing will go nothing going to happen uh, at that point already there was a rumors another rumors about the first of december so we understood there is no point for to keep going on the same location and pay the money for the rental uh, it just simply became too expensive and paying to pay so expensive for the for the place which you are not using it felt like really really wrong so we closed the dive center the rest the rest is on episodes if you want to know about every single day about what we did starting the end of august there is episode number one and all the way up to this episode so I'm not going to uh, kind of talk about the things which is already documented in this episode a good reason for you to check out all the episodes again if you miss some go back there is a playlist called 
a daily show. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, follow, and see you tomorrow again. Bye. Just an idea born for another good hike. Really scenic one. That's great. The last will we'll call Elliot. Maybe another day we can go before we go to Agung. <laughs>